has deteriorated significantly as the far-reaching impacts of, this, uh, of the military coup continue to devastate lives and hopes across the country. Conflict, poverty, and the effects of the pandemics are sharply increasing, and the country faces a vortex of repression, now, Joel Wynn is the founder and executive director of the Burma Human Rights Network, and he joins me now live from London. Welcome to the News Hour. Um, is Myanmar on the way to becoming a failed state? Hi, uh, thank you for having me today. Um, yes, and to, answer, to answer your question, uh, Burma is already, in a long time, it's, it's a fragile state, and now it's really a failed state because you see that there isn't any law uh, uh, law and order exist. What we have is a brutal regime that trying to control the peaceful pe public and civilians and killings, torturing, abducting the people and the, you know, people and, and the family members, even children from 14, from 12 to 17 years old. There are more than 75 uh, children has been killed in this uprising. So they are targeting in, indiscriminately uh, to the civilian civilians and, and, and uh, regardless of age and, you know, age, and, age and sex. So the point is the Burma is going to, you know, it largely uh, systematically and widespread the human rights violation is going on. And who's listening? Because, you know, we hear the UN saying Myanmar is on the brink of a human rights catastrophe, but it's clearly still going on. So unfortunately, international community, as you see the neighboring countries, are most of them uh, reacted on their interest. But this is also, this also should be their interest, the stability and prosperity of the people of Burma. Because you see, they, they, will, they will not get peace at their border when Burma is not, not, not in peace, peaceful and stability. So the point is, you see, the, this, is, this should be the interest of the neighboring countries to help people of Burma and not to support that military regime that committing crime against humanity and genocide against their people. As you see that the, the, the same military committed genocide against the Rohingya people in 2017 is now taking over the country. And all the minorities are not safe anymore in this country anymore. Because you see that they are currently committing crime against humanity. According to our report, research report, we launched uh, a couple of months ago um, on January, uh, on July 28, uh, the report name is the. Uh, uh, you, you see that uh, in 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 that report we research about how the military has been committing committing crime against humanity and by a, a legal expert uh, we have clearly identified the systematic and the widespread uh, crime the violations has been going on and you see that the number of the people the dying and day by day people have been arrested and most of the youth are now in prison. You know, I, I hear you speak, and this has been happening for, for you know since the beginning of the year. And I, and I just wonder who who listens as the international community listen. Um, uh, we hear the UN making statements, but uh, with with Russia and China there so powerfully on the UN Security Council, what can be done? You see, the situation in Burma is way beyond past for the situation. They they can make statements and do nothing. It is not the position anymore. Millions of lives is now under the threat. And every day we are, hit, we are bombarded by the information that the several people have been abducted from their home, evening time, and next day morning, the, the family received that their, their, their loved one has been buried or killed. So this kind of crimes, it is, a, you know, heinous crimes are continued. And the people's, uh, you know, civilians are helpless. Where is the international mechanism? Where is the what is the UN doing? That everyone is asking. Why are we not? Uh, why are we left alone with this murderous regime? And why and, do you think? And why do you think um, the UN is not uh, acting? As you see, that the UN is is mainly what we so far seen that uh, UN member states are most of them are, are reacting on 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 the on the interest state interest. And this is an, an, an argument. I agree. This is the. This should be their interest to, for the stability of the, in Burma, because you see that no, none of any border, like India, like China border, none of them are any safe anymore. So these countries need to be very careful what they, what they, they want for Burma.
because the military regime cannot control anymore. The whole country is uprising. The people are determined to bring down this murderous regime. And all the minorities and majority, everyone is determined to, you know, to bring down this military. Of course, you see that the, in this 21st century, the way the military has been killing and using snipers against the protesters, peaceful protesters. So that's not uh, going to happen in this 21st century anymore. So people are not going to tolerate anymore. So what we are seeing is that a full-blown uh, civil war is, uh, is very, very soon going to happen in Burma. And major cities like Rangoon, like Mandalay, mm -hmm. it's not safe anymore. Several bomb blasts everywhere, gunfightings, you know, uh, exchange of fire. And then yesterday, a couple of days ago, uh, the military security forces bring down three young people in Rangoon, central Rangoon, and shot dead, kill them on the street. That means they have no any uh, rules of law any exist anymore in Burma. The military, the security force, they are killing the people at their will. So international community has clearly has failed. Mm -hmm. But now the people of the humanitarian disaster, okay. the millions of people are in danger now. Especially in Chin State and Zagain Division and Karin State, there are thousands okay. of people, uh, you know, fleeing to, to, to the war zone. Chao Wen, thank you so much for really giving us uh, those details. Very important and very concerning that you're speaking about a potential civil war. Chao Wing uh, from uh, the Burma Human Rights Network. Appreciate it so much.